Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 7.9, Multiply Mixed Numbers. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to multiply mixed numbers. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, let's begin this lesson by reading the Unlock the Problem. One third of a one and one fourth acre park has been set aside as a dog park. Find the number of acres that are used as the dog park. Is the area, I'm reading in the green box, is the area of the dog park going to be less than or greater than the area of the one and one fourth acre park? Well, if remember, if we're multiplying by less than one, one third is less than one, then our answer is going to be less than what we multiply by. Let's show this in a model, and then let's get down to the numbers and show we how to see how we see this as a number. Shade the whole model to represent the whole park. So here is one, I'm gonna color in this whole thing. I have one whole acre, and I have a fourth. Now I'm going to split that. Step two says double shade the part that is going to be the park. Well, the park is going to be one third of that. So I'm gonna split this into groups of three. And now if I have one, two, three, four, times three is 12, 13, 14, 15 colored in pieces, I'm going to show thirds of that. So that means that I'm gonna color in 12. So I'm gonna color in one, two, three, four, and here's just my one third of that. So that means that I have four pieces out of 12, and I have one in the other part out of 12. And if I have four twelfths plus one twelfth, that gives me five twelfths. So all of the colored in pieces, one, two, three, four, and five, means that the park, the acre of the park set aside for the dog park is going to be five twelfths. Notice that our number is less than what we originally had. Let's look at this just in the numbers in another way. It is often very helpful to use a model when we are multiplying, but we want to be able to do this just with math as well. So when we multiply a fraction times a mixed number, what we wanna do is we actually wanna change our mixed number into an improper fraction. So remember, we do that by multiplying times the bottom and adding to the top. So one times four is four plus one is five. So we're gonna multiply one third times four fifths. Now that we have a nice, easy fraction, no mixed number, we're gonna multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. One times five is five, and three times four is 12. So that gives us the answer, five twelfths. Great job so, fifth, so far, fifth graders. Let's keep going on the next page. Example one says we're going to multiply 12 times two and one sixth, and we're gonna answer in simplest form. Before we multiply, let's think about if I multiply 12 times two, and one sixth, is my number gonna get bigger or smaller? Well, if I multiply it by two, then I know it's going to get bigger. So it's going to be greater than my original 12. Okay, so our first step is we're going to multiply. Remember that two, that 12 has invisible one underneath it. So 12 over one times, now let's make an improper fraction. Two times six is 12 plus one is 13. So now we're gonna multiply 12 times 13, which is 156 over one times six, which is six. This is a big, nasty, improper fraction. I'll help you simplify it this time. Six goes into 156 26 times, and that means our bottom number is one. So our answer is just going to be 26. So that would be two and one six, and 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 two and one six, 12 times, 
gives us the number 26. Let's try this again with the distributive property. The distributive property is another way to multiply. It means that instead of changing into an improper fraction, we're going to split the number up and multiply each part. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply 16 times 4 and 1 8. And we know that our number is going to get bigger because we're multiplying by 4 and a fraction. So instead of multiplying by an improper fraction, I'm going to split up 4 and 1 8 into 4 plus 1 8. Then I'm going to take my 16 and I'm going to share it to each part, 4 times 16 and 16 times 1 8. So 4 times 16 and 16 times 1 8. This method works but can be a little bit confusing. 16 times 4 is 60. 4 and 16 times 1 8 gives us 16 eighths and 8 goes into 16 twice which is even so we get 64 plus 2 which is 66. So 16 times 4 and 1 8 equals 66. We will practice both these methods the improper fraction and the distributive property tomorrow in class. Your lesson activity is the share and sew question on the top of the next page. I will help get you started. In this example, we're going to be multiplying by improper fractions. So that means we're going to multiply times the bottom and add to the top in both numbers because you can see we have a mixed number times a mixed number. So two, one times three is three, plus 2 is 5. So our first mixed number is 5 thirds. Our second mixed number, we're going to multiply 3 times 5 is 15, plus 4 is 19. Let's multiply 19 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. 5 goes into 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9. So we get the number 95 on top and 3 times 5 on the bottom is 15. Your job is to simplify this fraction. How many times does 15 go into the number 95? You should get a mixed number answer. We'll go over it tomorrow in class.